I think the potential AJ Fury fight is absolutely massive. I mean, if I wasn't, you know, a former boxer and, and a trainer myself, if I was just a boxing fan, you know, when you look through boxing history and British heavyweight history, we never used to, have, we didn't even have a British heavyweight, you even knew a few years back, but now we have the two best elite heavyweights in the division and they've both got a great contrast to characters, great contrast to styles. This is a fight that absolutely must happen. Yeah, how exciting is it to have the two top heavyweights, you know, like Fury and, uh, and, and Joshua, I guess, it's um, unbelievable, you know, who'd have thought it, you know. Uh, 20 years ago when it was, you know, the division was dictated, obviously in the States, you know, now we've got the two best heavyweights of British, you know, I think it has to be made. To have these two guys, AJ and Tyson Fury, at the top of the sport, I think it's got to be from a heavyweight boxing era, the best era in British heavyweight history, do you know what I mean? And for this fight to not happen, it would be a, it would be a crying shame for British boxing. It would be a crying shame for sport in this country. That's how really, that's how I feel about the whole situation. I think he's got what it takes to become that world champion and the best fighter in the world. As long as he stays focused and he sticks to his game. There's a lot of big names still out there in the heavyweight division and the heavyweight division is one of the renowned uh, divisions in the world. And he's proven himself, but I still think he's got a lot to do yet. And to prove that he is the number one in the world because you've got the likes of Fury, you've got the likes of Wilder, there's so many great fighters out there. So it's going to be a tough couple of years for AJ to prove that he's the best out there. Yeah, if Joshua and Fury were to fight, it's going to be a tough one. But to be honest, I, I, I probably fancy Fury. I fancy Fury because I think um, that uh, he has more dimensions, you know. I'm not calling Joshua one dimensional, but what I'm saying is with Fury, um, he can mix it up. I mean, he can come forward, he can go backwards, he can fight, he can box, he can. And he's, he's extremely fast for, for such a big guy. And then, like I said, speed kills. And I think, I think, yeah, I think Fury. But there's the two heavyweights, as you know, you know, hit each other on the chin. But yeah, you know, Josh, Josh was a top fighter, but if I had to pick one, I'd pick Fury. Can AJ beat Tyson Fury? Now that's a question which a lot of people have on their mind. I don't think so. I think Tyson Fury, in my opinion, is the best heavyweight out there. And I think with the boxing ring generalship he has and the movement he has and the IQ he has, I don't think anyone's touching him. I think he has everything it takes to beat AJ. My prediction for AJ and Fury, um, I've been fortunate, you know, Tyson's my friend, you know, he's trained in this very, very gym with me, you know what I mean? And I've seen him in action, I've seen what he's capable of. I think you've all seen it firsthand, you know, what he did to Wilder in the last fight, went and bid the bully. He's normally the slick boxer, switching and picking people off. He got really nasty in that last fight with Wilder, so he, 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 Tyson sort of like ticks every box. But in the heavyweight division, we just talked about AJ, what a ferocious finisher. Sometimes Tyson's been on the floor, do you know what I mean? And if AJ gets him on the floor, AJ might keep him there. So it's a massive, massive, massive fight. Could go either way, but I've got to go with Fury. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe All Media New York.